What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out the Furion RV electric fireplace. It's gonna be LED and it comes in a couple different styles. We have the one we're gonna be looking at mainly today is the one with the logs. Now there's another one that has kind of the clear rocks at the bottom. That one's gonna be more of like a blue flame and you can even change the colors on that one. But this one we're gonna focus on today, I think it's a good addition to your RV. If you have the space for it like we did here you could put it right in and it kind of makes it feel like home with a nice little fire let's check it out right away i'm going to point out it comes out with the remote so that's nice to have you don't have to be right here and use the face buttons but if it does run out of batteries the face buttons are here i like to have that option because you can you know never know when the batteries are going to run out and then you can't use it so with that in mind what you can do from here is you can turn it on and off so you don't always have to have it on it's got four different brightnesses of the fire so the logs here i'll hit the button we're on four right here three two one so it gets a little bit dimmer with each one i'm going to keep it on the bright setting you can also decide how hot it is so it, you can even leave it off so that no heat comes out of there i prefer that one most of the time but if it is cold and you need a little extra heat you can hit the temperature you can go from 65 all the way up to 95 depending on where you want the heat that's going to come out of there with the heating element there comes some concerns but it does have a thermal cutoff so one of them is if there is something six inches away from the fireplace and the heat is on it'll automatically shut off that way it detects the fire hazard and won't continue going on another one is you can have a timer set so it'll automatically shut off for anywhere from 30 minutes to five hours so you make sure it shuts off every time it can also be wired so that when it's in a slide out and you slide it out once it detects any movement it'll cut the power to the fireplace so you don't have to worry about leaving the fireplace on when you do go to slide it in or out another cool safety thing it does is it if it detects that it's not getting enough airflow around the vents maybe they're blocked it'll automatically shut that off too just preventing it from overheating itself so along with all the safety features it also is made to be in your rv so it's not just like a fireplace you would go to put in your house it's built for to stand up against that vibration and extreme temperatures so you can be sure that it's made to be in your rv now it's also ul 2021 standard certified and csa 22.2 number 46 standard certified as well now we saw what it looks like on the inside we brought it back out here to take a look at what it's gonna look like when you pull it out of the box. So this is what it's gonna look like. You might have a different one. There's a bunch of different sizes on here, so make sure you get the right one on the website. And one thing you wanna to do to do that is measure the space you're gonna put it in the RV. So make sure if it's in a like cabinet, in an underneath part, measure out that portion to make sure you can get the right one to fit with that space. When it comes to mounting it, there's a few different ways you can do that. You can do a flush mount, which means this is the wall. All you're gonna see is the glass. So the glass will just be visible. The rest of it will be hidden within the wall. Now you can do a half mount, a half flush mount. So you're gonna be right here where my hand is will be the wall. So then now this portion is what's gonna be sticking out from the wall or cabinet that you do. Now cabinet mount, that can be a mix. It just really depends on where you're gonna put it and how the cabinet's set up. You can do a full flush or the half flush, and then you don't have to account for in the cabinet. Most of the time, it's just the measurement's gonna be for this back side here. So then again, this portion will all be sticking out from that cabinet. It really depends on what your setup is and how you're gonna set this up. So make sure you check out the instructions. They have all the measurements in there. Now with the power side of things, it's about six foot in length. So that gives you quite a bit of a reach and you'll plug that in to power the fireplace. And then you also get this optional wire that plugs into the back and you'll have to wire this in, but this is gonna be the slide out cutout. So that means when you plug this in and wire it in, it'll shut off when the slide out's moved. Overall, I think it's a great addition to your motorhome or RV. I think that not only does it look good, I like a good fire in the background. It's nice I don't have to set anything up. I'm gonna flip the switch and it's good. It's LED too, so it's gonna last compared to some of those older ones that are maybe bulb style where you have to replace the bulb after a while. You don't have to worry about that with this. Whether it's flush mounted or half flush mounted where it sticks out a little bit, I don't think that would be a big deal either. They come in so many different sizes, that's nice. So you can actually put it wherever you want in your motorhome as long as you got that space. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped. 